Mr. Chairman. Gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well, I'm, I'm sure it comes as no surprise uh, to anyone that when you allow your borders to be open and the administration in power shows no interest uh, in securing that border, the individuals from around the world, from across the globe, are going to try to take advantage of that lack of security. The staggering numbers of illegal crossings, they speak for themselves, but what should keep everyone on this committee, at least, up at night, because it's our responsibility to protect the American people, uh, is the number of internationally recognized terrorists that have been cited at the border. We know that an increasing number of aliens listed on the terrorist uh, screening database are being encountered along the southwest border and released by DHS into the U.S. No doubt even more such aliens are part of the hundreds of thousands of gotaways known by Border Patrol to have entered the U.S. without even being encountered. The data from U.S. Customs and Border Protection, it, it's shocking. And make no mistake, these record-setting numbers will continue well into the Man. future if stronger action isn't right. taken by the Biden administration to secure our border once and for all. Perhaps the root of the problem is that the administration doesn't want to know the full extent of the threat. Not knowing means not having to face the truth of what's really at stake here. Those of us on this committee who were here during 9-11 remember what it was like to grapple with grief and loss after terrorists came to American soil to do us harm. One of our top priorities must be to utilize the tools provided to us under the Constitution to ensure the safety and security of the American people. And that starts with securing our southern border. That ought to be the priority, at least one of the priorities of the people on both sides of the committee. It's clearly not at this point, on, at least on one of the sides. Mr. Chairman, I'm not opposed to immigration. Uh, none of us, to my knowledge, on this side of the aisle is, is uh, opposed to immigration. In fact, I'm, I'm sure most of us on this committee agree that our nation has benefited greatly uh, from the hard work of the men and women who've come to America by following our legal immigration system, legal immigration system. Anyone who has been to a naturalization ceremony, and, and I've been to many of them, uh, has seen firsthand the dedication and the patriotism in the eyes of our newest citizens. But illegal immigration, that's a different story entirely. First and foremost, we must realize that no good comes from allowing such an egregious humanitarian crisis to continue at our southern border and turning a blind eye to those who come here with malicious intentions. Currently at our southern border, it's utter chaos. And if you talk to some of the folks on this committee, they see it virtually every week when they're back in their district, because some of them are literally right on the border. We're all border states now because these folks go all over the country. In fact, we put them on a, a bus or on a plane and we ship them across uh, the, 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 uh, the, the country at this point in time. Um, this resolution of inquiry introduced by my friend Mr. McClintock simply asks for, for information to assist the committee in its oversight of federal immigration enforcement in order to assess how DHS is enforcing existing immigration law. That's the least we ought to do. Congress and the American people have a right to know the number and mechanism of removal or expulsion for aliens listed in the terrorist screening database who were encountered entering illegally along uh, the southwest border. Unless, of course, uh, you're gullible enough to buy the patently absurd position uh, of uh, Alejandro Mayorkas or Kamala Harris that the southern border is secure. I mean, it's, it's hard to believe. I mean, he said it when he was before this committee. I really couldn't believe that Mayorkas would have the nerve to say the border is secure. I mean, that's an absurdity. Anybody believes that uh, there's either something wrong with them or they're so gullible uh, that they'd believe anything. And then for the Vice President of the United States to repeat that again, that this administration has secured the border, that's just ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. The safety and security of American families deserves nothing less than a secure border, and this committee ought to be instrumental in, in doing that. Uh, with that, Mr. Chairman, 
I yield back to balance my time. Gentleman yields back. Does anyone else seek recognition?